With a flat analog input to our FFT, we see a very strong DC peak at the zero component, and the rest of the FFT is basically just noise at all the higher frequencies. This signal is coming from diffuse daylighting in my workroom onto a cadmium sulfide photocell. When I switch on an AC-powered overhead LED light fixture, I see a transient, and then I start to see some fluctuations in my signal that are happening too fast for me to perceive with my eyes. The FFT is dominated by the transients in the first sample, but then we start to see very clearly defined peak at the dominant frequency of the oscillations. The peak is much more pronounced in the red trace. That's the full floating point FFT. If I remove the mean from the signal, the peak becomes much more obvious. There's no large DC component anymore. If I change the time step to make nice round intervals in my frequency spectrum, I see that the peak gets narrower because these happen to correspond to the frequencies that I'm measuring. One simple way to power an LED light from an AC source is to use a half-wave rectifier to basically flip the negative going part of the AC to positive, and that'll double the effective frequency. Sure enough, we see a very strong peak at 120 Hz, twice the frequency at which our AC in the household is running. There are also some much smaller peaks at multiples or harmonics of that 120 Hz frequency. To get best results with an FFT, choose a sampling rate in a number of points that will cover the frequency range that you're interested in. Then, remove the mean so that you don't have a strong DC component, and be sure to tune the parameters to get the best information possible.